Mm, great uh, money saving tips there. Is my fertility protocol good? I want to make my wife pregnant. I do TRT 160 milligrams a week and inject 1500 milligrams HCG every other day and 75 international units FSH every other day. Okay, so I, I assume when he see, says uh, milligrams and HCG, he's talking about uh, uh, IUs as well. Yeah, 1,500 yeah. IUs every other day is, is a crazy amount of HCG. You don't need that, that amount. Yes, 75, uh, three times a week of uh, FSH will certainly help. I could, you could knock that HCG down to, you know, 400 units every other day and, and just save, save yourself some money there because it does get pricey to do that kind of a dose. But I will also say that the FSH... Remember, women generally from the first day of their cycle where, where they get their period, that is day one of their next 28-day cycle, presuming that she's, she's regular, uh, her ovulation comes around day 14, give or take, right? A few before, a few after. So if you go out to a local pharmacy and you buy an ovulation kit, it looks like a pregnancy test, but rather than checking for HCG in her morning urine, it's going to check for luteinizing hormone. She'll start using those sticks roughly on day 11, 10 or 11, after the first day of her last period. And as they start to get darker, you want to know that the ovulation date with that egg is, is ready to, uh, to ovulate. You want to make sure that you get the full lines. You want to be having sex at least, at least once a day, two to three days prior to ovulation. So that when, that, uh, when she ovulates, you, there's already sperm present in the fallopian tubes or, or in the uterus. You don't want to miss the ovulation period and then continue using FSH for two weeks when ovulation is done and over with, because you're, again, you're wasting away money. So, so use the FSH specifically. It's far more costly than HCG. Use the FSH from the day she gets her period all the way for two weeks up until ovulation. And if you miss the window for that cycle, come off for about 10 days and then reset and get back on your FSH. Mm -hmm. uh, guys produce sperm on a more regular basis. You don't have to, you know, have it, um, have it in your system uh, for all 30 days. Just a couple of money saving tips because I know FSH can get expensive, but using an ovulation kit will really save you time because people don't realize, you know, they're having sex every single day. And that's great if you, if you want to, but I know it could be stressful to, to try to conceive and, Make sure you're you're in the right time, right? I mean, if I got a, if I got a target like this and I'm shooting darts all around the wall, I mean, I'm just I'm wasting energy. So make sure you know when that target is, and that ten dollar ovulation kit will really make your life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. mm, great uh, money saving tips there, Gil. Uh, never heard that uh, shared here on the channel.